Now, Leo Kotke, some say, most say, the world's leading acoustic guitarist. Now, having said that, I read a quote from you that said you want to take more lessons. What, what else could you learn? Oh, I, uh, a lot. I am self-taught, so I, I've got all the problems of the autodidact, as they say. I, I can't read. Well, I read now, but I couldn't for about 25 years. So mm -hmm. I'm going through what's happened in the last 400 years just to see where I fit in and try and cop a few ideas. Fitting in all right. Uh, the awards you've got, Italian Press, German Press, a guitar magazine, five years running, Best Acoustic Guitarist. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, that was very nice. It's... Uh, I know when I started playing, there was no place I could go to find out how to do it. And that magazine, the reason the vote means a lot to me, is really good information. The thing actually works. I'm sure they'll appreciate the plug, but uh, <laughs> it's nice to know it's there. Guitar wasn't the first instrument that you learned, was it? No, I was uh, subjected to the violin like a lot of unfortunate children <laughs> at the age of uh, five. Yeah. And, uh, uh, tried to play the flute. They gave me a trombone and it was sort of a Dickens-like odyssey until I got to the guitar. Do you play the other instruments as well as you play guitar? No. <clears throat> the trombone, uh, I remember quitting the trombone. Again, I was being told what to play when I had to do a piece called Down Home on the Farm at, a, mm. at an exhibition sort of in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Mm. That was enough. I, I sneaked into the underground and found my, my home here. And when you travel, you only travel with two guitars and a suitcase, is that right? Yeah, uh, power to weight ratio is <laughs> what it's all about. I you reckon that's all you need. Can you give us a demo of one song and just what is it before sure, you do this it? This is Mr. Phonebone, who's the main character, uh, or the major character in Mad Magazine. It is on this album, too. Leo's latest time step. As I said, the world's best acoustic guitarist. Ever had a hit record? Uh, I've got to number five on the charts in Denver a few years ago. A lot of FM hits uh, uh -huh. that, I'm, that I'm continuing to milk in my career. Ever wanted a hit single? Not, not really. It would be nice because it's certainly part of the job, but it looks to be an awful sudden change and I think kind of hard to handle. <laughs> So I'm very happy. Just keep on traveling with the two guitars in the suitcase. Exactly. How many albums is it now, Mac? Thirteen, uh, if you don't count the greatest hits packages. Mm -hmm. There's three of those. And uh, uh, I'll be recording again, uh, recording a live concert when I get back uh, to the States. Uh, I'll be recording in Sydney as well. And uh, I'm doing a 40-minute video coming up uh, on my return. It'll be built around an obscure guitar player who existed in the 20s named Snoozer Quinn. Uh-huh take this on a tour of the guitar. When will that come out? Probably uh, in late fall. Uh, 
if everything goes as planned. Look forward to grabbing hold of it and spinning some of the tracks on Thanks sounds. Would be nice. Leo has done Melbourne, unfortunately. He's already been through your city, but uh, you head uh, tomorrow to the Opera House, 5 p.m. There are tickets still available, and they're keeping the box offices open this afternoon. Then there's the second show, the one they opened first at 8 p.m., and that's sold out, right? So you can only get to the 5 p.m. show tomorrow at the Opera House, and then up to Twin Towns, just the other side of the border. You'll love it up there. Sure, I will. Thank New you for talking to us. Thank you. And it's been nice to have you back on sound. You've been watching the world's best acoustic guitarist, Leo Cotton.